at the top of this tree of evil, there's all the leaves and the twigs, okay? And these are the fruits. These are the expressions that happen after the fact, okay? And the, the top expression is willful ignorance. People refusing to look into the truth for themselves. Willfully staying ignorant, okay? Now, people will say, well, isn't that the root? Isn't that the root cause? No. That's the expression that follows the root cause. Well, what lies beneath that? What's the bigger branches of this tree of evil? Beneath willful ignorance, people have a fundamental fear of owning their own personal responsibility. We don't want to be truly responsible for our own behavior. We want to pass the buck. We want to pass responsibility on to others and say, no, that's the, this isn't us doing it isn't, it isn't all our responsibility, it's someone else's responsibility, okay? So the fear of owning personal responsibility goes deeper in the psychological framework for why people are willfully ignorant. Now, something underlies that. There's a reason people have fear of owning their own personal responsibility, okay? And that is what I would call the trunk of the tree of evil. The trunk of the tree is self-loathing. Humanity is a species that hates itself. Ultimately, deep, deep, deep down inside, nested into the deep, uh, underneath of, of the, the, the subconscious mind, we are a self-loathing species, okay? There, and that's due to a lack of self-respect. We don't have self-respect because we don't have enough understanding of self. We don't have self-knowledge. We don't have enough understanding of consciousness. Now, what we're going to talk about here today is... What is the root of the tree of evil? At the very bottom of this psychological framework, something underlies all of this. A question, and again, I ask people, please hold your questions till the end, and we will adjourn to the, the beer garden on South Street, Brow House, to take questions and to have more discussion. But I will occasionally ask the audience a question, okay? Can anyone please tell me what general group of people this psychological framework is typical of. In general, there is a class of human beings that display just being ignorant, fearing to own their own personal responsibility, and lacking a lot of self-respect for themselves because they don't really know a lot about themselves yet. Children, thank you, sir. Children, this exemplifies someone who is not psychologically mature, okay, who has not psychologically and spiritually grown up, okay, so this is the group that we're really talking about, we're not talking about actual children, again, we're talking about psychological children, spiritual children, questions at the end, please, okay, now, what kind of children display these particular symptoms, psychologically, if you will? Actually, that's a good answer, because I would say that gangsters and wannabe gangsters exemplify this psychological issue that I'm going to be talking about. The answer here is abandonment.